Hello to you. My name is Jesse R. Johnson. I will be speaking to you today about physics, specifically gravity. All physics books, all physics books says gravity do not exist. Modern physics tells us that there are four basic forces. One, the strong force. Two, the electromagnetic force. Three, the weak force. Four, the gravitation force. In fact, there are only three. The fourth one, gravity, do not exist. Classical and modern physics tells us this in every and all physics books. Science is, is not at fault for this. Politics, economics, and educational systems are at fault. Politic, political system says to scientists, you better say and do what we tell you or you won't get your ideas out into the great journals. Economics says, to scientists, do and say what we tell you or you won't get money for your projects or you'll be fired. Educational systems tell scientists, you best tell you teach your children, teach children including your own, these falsehoods or you won't get to be in the educational system at all. The law of proof states all that's needed to disprove anything is one point and one point only. There are three points of disproof in this video to begin and repeat to you. The law of proof states all that's needed to disprove anything is one point and only one point. Now, point number one, in classical physics or Newtonian physics and basic mechanics, scientists tell us in order to save their jobs and to keep from being ridiculed that the acceleration due to gravity is 9.1 9.81 meters a second squared. This equals approximately 32 feet a second squared. In other words, 9.18 meters times 39 inches, which is approximately one, in, one meter, equals 382.6 inches divided by 12 inches, which is one foot, equals 31.88 feet or 31.9 feet, or about 32 feet. Now, I'm going to do a demonstration. This here is a smooth, round spike nail. A smooth, round spike nail sharpened, sharpened at the tip. This is to produce almost 0% air drag when dropped. This here is two yardsticks. Two yardsticks equal to six feet of length. Equal to six feet of length. Now, I want everyone to determine for themselves how long it takes the spike nail to reach the floor from six feet up. Hold on, please. I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to drop the nail approximately two to three times so you get a good idea of how long it takes the nail to go from zero all the way to six feet to the floor.
I'm going to move the camera back to its original position. Hold on, please. Now, now, how long did it take? A second? A half a second? A second and a half? In the first second, it will fall 32 feet. That's one thirty second of a second per one foot. Six feet equals six thirty seconds, which equals three sixteenths of a second. It should have taken only three sixteenths of a second to get to the floor. Did it? No, it took far longer than any three sixteenths of a second. Physics has been, physicists have been made up their minds. Gravity do not exist. Point number one. We will go to now point number two. The heliocentric religion tells us that our earth spins or rotates at 1,040 miles per hour at the equator and, and things are held to the surface by gravity. Since everything is already on the earth's surface within that first second, then anything off of that surface starts to fall within that first second. In the first second, the acceleration due to gravity is 32 feet. At a constant 32 feet a second, a thing is going, is going 32 times 60 seconds, which equals 1,920 feet times 60 minutes, that is, which equals 115,200 feet and 115,200 feet divided by 5,280 feet, one mile in other words, equals 21.8 miles per hour. Now, in other words, so we are being told that a 21.9 per 21.9 mile per hour acceleration force within a in the first second is able to hold back a 1,440 mile per hour acceleration force, an utter impossibility. Physicists have been reaching out to us for over 100 years for us to see the trouble they're in. Gravity do not exist. Now, let's continue. Point number three. In modern, no, modern non-classical physics, physicists have also been trying to tell us at the nuclear level, gravity do not exist, just as in the classical physics case of 9.81 meters a second squared. Here is an illustration. This information is taken from this volume. This is a university level physics. University level physics? This is non-classical physics beyond Newton, Newton's view. Now, here, here is the force. Here is the relative strength of the different forces. The strong force has a strength of unity, one. The, electro, the electromagnetic force is one one hundredth of that one, or ten to the minus second power. The weak force is ten to the minus six power, or one one millionth of one of that of the strong force. Now, I want you to look at the gravitational strength. Gravity, ten to the minus thirty ninth power. You. No human can conceive or comprehend that size number, that size quantity, that force. It, gravity that is, does not exist. At 10 to the 30 minus, 39th power, a magnitude that is physically incomprehensible. 
once again. This one here is university level physics. Here is physics, second edition, in, written in 2000, copyright 2004, page 1078. Once again, the force, the relative strength on this side. Once again, the strong force, unity, one. Electromagnetic, 10 to the minus two power. Weak force, 10 to the minus six power. And they are in agreement, both volumes. But now look at gravity at the bottom here. It is 10 to the minus 43rd power. If you cannot conceive or comprehend 10 to the minus 39th power, you certainly cannot conceive of 10 to the minus 43rd power. Even if not you, me, or any other human is remotely able to comprehend the size of this number. You think you can, you can't. This number is off the scale. Even if the Earth were a solid sphere, one trillion miles in radius, you still wouldn't be able to detect a force this small. Gravity do not exist. Now, you may ask, what holds us down? What holds you down to the Earth and the Earth itself together is the electromagnetic force. I want to thank you and everyone else for watching, and I want everyone to have a good day.